I'm Dr. Anthony Moof of Eyes and Faces and Corneal Oculoplastic Surgeon in Sydney and welcome to this video on how to sashimi an eye. Well, more importantly, it's more correctly, it's how to sashimi a cornea and we're doing it because this is how you prepare a cornea for a layered transplant. In this case, I'm peeling off the front of the eye to replace the front of the cornea and that's called a stromal transplant. I'm replacing the stroma. So that's what it is. But technically, yes, I'm performing sashimi on an eye. The idea of this video came from an observer who was watching me and she commented that under the microscope it looked like a whole world of action going on but when she stood back and watched me I was hardly moving and when I looked at her video I realized it's a whole body thing you might think that this is just your hands but in fact to get your hands to do what you want it's a whole body thing and it's a whole body engagement it's really a postural thing you engage the core you engage the legs you you've got to keep yourself straight so your arms can work supported from your shoulders and then your hands can work just like a fine painter so everyone asks me how do i do it this is how i do it so i'll show you here we go you'll see here you've got watch the video in the background there you'll see the video and the video up top shows the instruments moving but if you watch my hands not much is happening not much is happening see the tips of the things moving the instruments moving in the distance but my hands hardly a movement and they're functioning they're resting on the forehead and they're functioning with the engagement of my shoulders to just attach to my core and everything is kept in a very 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 firm but relaxed position it's very much a, a sort of position you'll see meditators take sitting cross leg and holding their body up straight because they have to then um, that body provides feedback to their mind here my body provides feedback to my mind and I'm literally watching my hands at work. I'm not even thinking of what to do. I'm just literally with my eyes guiding them, not thinking about it because the body is taking care of itself. And it really is quite a discipline to get into this, to be able to do it. Because as you'll see from the top, there's a hell of a lot of movement going on and I'm literally just tracking it and watching it. I'm not actually directing it. It's quite meditative. It's a, what I would call a state of flow where skill meets challenge. And the time passes quite quickly, even though this is a little bit sped up, I think, um, it passes quite quickly. Um, but that's how you do it. It really takes a little bit of time and discipline to do it. You'll see me here cutting off the edge of the tissue now with scissors. It looks like there's big movement, but watch my hands and hardly anything is happening. And then I go back and I continue the dissection with a blue dissection. You'll also note here I just changed hands. I went from my right hand to my left hand and that's part of the state you have to be able to be very universal ambidextrous use both hands to do this surgical procedure it's very hard to do if you just used one hand so it's just back and forth very meticulous slow careful uh, fine movements which arise from a posture of the whole body uh, initially, when you do this sort of a thing, it feels uncomfortable. You have to get learn to learn to sit on a chair with your with your back supported. So that's the end of that section there to show it to you. Um, I hope that all makes sense. If you've got any queries, by all means, get in touch with us or leave a comment. I'm Dr. Anthony Malouf of Eyes and Faces and Corneal Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney, and I hope that's been informative.